Hey, it's 2024. I'm John Paulus. You're listening to Life's Potluck Buffet, the first episode of the solar year. Not the first episode of the Life's Potluck Buffet year. That happens in August, as you know. But today is the first time I'm going to pick up the cards in the new year to find out what advice they have for me and for you for 2024. So stick around and find out. I hope you enjoyed the countdown of the top clips from 2023. Uh, The last one premiered yesterday. Check it out. It's about passions or for hobbies. And this is something I had in mind today because, again, this is the first time I've picked up the cards in 2024. And listening to that episode from yesterday, listening to the clips from the episode where I that day that I pulled Passions Are For Hobbies three times in a row from the deck without any trickery. Well, it makes me a little nervous that the cards have something in store for us today. And um, I am just praying, as always, that it's not Passions Are For Hobbies. Um, So, that was all about 2023 cards, and it's good to see you cards. Happy New Year. Uh... That was 2023, right? We're not going to worry about passions of our hobbies in 2024. We understand the lesson of that. Okay, here we go. I am going to shuffle the deck as I do three times using the casual shuffle technique, which I always use before uh, doing the final shuffle. So that's where I kind of you know lift up the cards as we do with uh, one hand, my left hand, and move some from the front and back to the front, and just casually rearrange some of the cards. And then I do a more traditional shuffle to meld the cards together, and I will try to do them without blowing up the microphone, as we always do. Oh, there you go. I managed not to blow up the mic. I never saw the audio levels go to red, so that's a good sign. I think that's because I'm recording at a kind of low level in the program that I'm using. So maybe that, well, maybe that's a solution. Okay, so I did the casual shuffles, the three of them, and I did the main shuffle. So now it's the, uh, (laughs) I can't. Oh, please do not let it be passions or for hobbies. Okay, okay. If If it's passions or for hobbies, you'll understand that the episode is over. And I'll see you tomorrow. If it is not passions for hobby are for hobbies, then we will go on and we will all be very happy. So I'm looking for a gap in the cards, and they're making it tough on the first day of 2024 of Life's Pollock Buffet because it's not really clear what gap they're pointing to. Oh, I see it. Okay. I just have to find find the gap. All right. Here we go. Here's the first card of 2024 for Life's Potluck Buffet for you and for me is if you are in a race against yourself, you can never catch up. Oh, I am so glad it was not Passions of Hobbies. I wonder where that is, if that's near it. I should look at the cards and see if I just barely avoided it. No, I didn't. Oh, good. Phew. Thank you, cards. Oh, now I'm just going to draw. This is card 14. Now I know. I'm just going to draw card 14 for the next 365 days. Okay. So... If you're in a race against yourself, you can never catch up. Too often, we think of ourselves as being caught up in the rat race of life, struggling to keep up. We externalize it as a race against other people or other things, but this race is really against ourselves, and we can simply never win it. Say aloud who you are racing for rather than who or what you are racing against. Now, watch yourself crossing the finish line. What a great card for the first card of 2024. You know, I just watched Tom Scott's video saying that after 10 years of, of wonderful, wonderful videos on YouTube that he's moving on to a uh, podcast that he's doing full time. And in the, what struck me in that video is that in his considerations of why he was m- moving on from the weekly videos on YouTube he really gets at the point of this card. If you're in a race against yourself, you can never catch up. And really, I think, I mean, he answered this question for himself. 
you I'm not going to spoil the video because it's a great video. So I'll put it in the I'll put it in the uh, description, and you can watch it. But when you watch it, look for when he's saying who he is racing for, rather than what he's racing against, and I think you'll find that that is the real answer to the question he had about, you know, is it time to um, hang up the skates? Do you think hang up the skates is about figure skating or ice hockey? It's got to be one or the other. I don't think it's about roller skating. Because that, you know, I mean, does anybody, has anybody ever been like, well, my long career in roller skating is now over and I must hang up the skates and retire? Well, if if that's you, please let me know. I'm really interested to find out what that was like and how that worked. But I think that it was probably either hockey or figure skating. Maybe let me know in the comments. Do you think it hang up the skates comes from hockey or from figure skating? And if it's a third thing, I'm not sure that there is a third thing with skates, except for the roller skating, which I, I don't think it's. Well, if you think it's roller skating, then put, you know, put that down. I'm, it's up to you. So when Tom Scott decided to hang up the skates, the reasons he gave were strikingly similar to the thinking behind this card for sure. So keep that in mind for yourself this week and this day since, well, I'll see you tomorrow on Life's Public Buffet. Oh, that like said, the rhyme spree hasn't stopped in uh, 2024. Um, maybe I should start rhyming with things other than buffet because, well, though there are a lot of words that rhyme with buffet, maybe it's, you know, too much to continue on the same path. We're supposed to, you know, we're supposed to be moving forward here, you know, in this race, and we're supposed to be crossing the finish line. Maybe we already crossed the I'm going to rhyme every word of the buffet finish line. So maybe we need to start rhyming with words that end with the sound for or door or dinosaur. I think Salvador Dali would probably have appreciated the dinosaur there, I think. He would have come up with something better. No, he would have come up with like egg and you would have said that, that doesn't rhyme with for and he would say it does. And then you'd say you're right, Salvador. For sure. <laughs>